Blount County, located just north of Birmingham, is the covered bridge capital of Alabama. It has more covered bridges than any other place in the state and is the home of the Blount County Covered Bridge Trail. Now this trail is really a driving tour that winds through some of the most beautiful scenery in Alabama. The county seat of Oneonta is an ideal place to begin the tour and to stock up for a picnic along your way at Palisades Park. From Oneonta, take Alabama 75 north for about five miles to the Horton Mill Covered Bridge. This beautiful old structure was built in 1934 and is 220 feet long. It crosses a 70 foot deep gorge carved by the Calvert Fork of the Little Warrior River. The Horton Mill Covered Bridge was built by a crew of 15 men and it took them one and one half years to complete it. It is an outstanding example of the town lattice truss design. Damaged by vandals in 2007, the bridge was restored and reopened to the public in 2013. Now you can drive across this covered bridge, but please be careful and be courteous because it only has one lane. Also be sure to observe the five mile per hour speed limit. From the Horton Mill covered bridge, the tour leads on to the Easley covered bridge, but along the way, be sure to take a short detour for a picnic at Palisades Park. This fantastic county park is located at the top of Ebell Mountain and takes its name from a remarkable sandstone bluff that extends for more than one quarter of a mile across the property. The bluff itself is 60 to 70 feet high and the view from the top is phenomenal. Palisades Park offers picnicking, trails, historic structures dating back to the early 1800s, overlooks, and even playgrounds for the kids. The more adventurous types can enjoy rock climbing. From Palisades Park, it is a short drive of around five and a half miles on to the next stop on the tour, the historic Easley Covered Bridge. This is the oldest of Blount County's covered bridges. It is a single span structure that was built in 1927 across Dub Branch. That's a stream that feeds into the Calvert Prong of the Little Warrior River. The Easley Bridge was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1981 and underwent restoration in 2012. It is of the town lattice truss design and is the smallest and least traveled of the bridges on the tour. And yes, you can drive across it. From the Easley Covered Bridge, the tour continues on to the remarkable Swan Covered Bridge. This is the longest covered bridge in Alabama and one of the longest in the nation. It stretches for 324 feet across the Locust Fork of the Black Warrior River. The Swan Covered Bridge was completed in 1933 and added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1981. It is of the town lattice truss design and is so long that it had to be built in three spans. It was restored and opened to car traffic in 2012. Now the bridge's name comes from the fact that it was built on the Swan Farm. It was also sometimes called the Joy Covered Bridge because it linked the communities of Cleveland and Joy, Alabama. Beneath the bridge is a beautiful gorge where the Locust Fork tumbles over and around rocks to create an extremely scenic scene. The boulders provide great spots for viewing and photographing the bridge. You can drive across this bridge as well, just keep in mind that it is a single lane structure. Don't drive onto it if you see a car already coming from the other direction. Blunt County hosts an annual covered bridge festival every October but you can see the bridges themselves any day of the year. In Blunt County, Alabama, I'm Dale Cox for Two Egg TV. Yeah.